Now I got this thing stuck. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This might be kind of out of the, the scope of what some people want to see because it certainly wouldn't have occurred to me a year or two ago that I would be trying this. But uh, what's a coyote do with an antique plow on the back and a guy that doesn't know how to plow? Well, you're going to find out or at least see what I've ended up with. If you've been following the channel for a while, I was up here a few videos ago trying to disc this field. This field hasn't been touched as far as any sort of cultivation, growing of anything other than just whatever comes and shows up. Probably for 25, 30 years or more. I mean, as long as I know anything about the property. So I've only been here a couple of years, but I have some history as far as knowing what's been going on the last 10 or 20, yeah, probably 25 at this point and not much has been going on up here except a little bit of grazing so my plan originally was to try to open up maybe an area where i could put a food plot or something else the camera's moving the wind is blowing it's hopefully near me but anyway you could uh i'll just get to it you can see what we're doing see what happens Sorry about the wind. So this plow is an antique plow. You can see the front discs that generally are on these bad boys are missing. And I knew the name when I bought it. But anyway, I'll put it in the put it in the caption. Uh, I did put some tractor paint on it just to kind of, maybe it's a Ferguson. I uh, put some tractor paint on it to try to, you know, minimize what more rust was going to show up. Some of the tractor paint's already come off. But in any case, this is what I'm trying. Uh, I don't really know if I even have it adjusted correctly or if that even matters a whole lot. It does seem to have some effect on how it digs in. This is what I'm looking at so far. The field isn't exactly, well, obviously it's not level, 
but it also has a lot of divots and crevices and so it tends to seem like to me that the plow is going up and down with regard to digging in and coming out and so on so this is the kind of the result we're in, we're with so far maybe i'm i'm the one that should be watching more uh, plowing videos i think i might be going too slow too but some of it doesn't look too bad some of it looks kind of thick and some of it it didn't really even cut in at all and like i said i think that's because the ground is uneven like that area there and there's kind of a little divot i don't know if, it, if it's visible on camera but anyway thanks for stopping by i appreciate it we're gonna continue to play around with this a little bit see what we end up with few rocks in here I have no idea if this is what it's supposed to be looking like I have a feeling this will dry out and then I could maybe disc it I don't know now I got this thing stuck and the other thing I noticed about this antique plow is that you can't lift it very high so that makes it tricky need both hands okay, so this will be a short video because I'm not sure about my experiment here but uh, as I've told you before in earlier videos this is probably an acre acre and a half of area that really nothing's being done with so it's a good area to do some experimenting on what I can do with it and I'm not sure if this experiment worked the guys on other videos make it look so easy uh, it's not easy I'll tell you that I was trying to put my left tire in the rut which I think is right right tire in the rut which i think is what you're supposed to do once you start and then but it gives you a whole different angle so that creates a whole different uh scenario but anyway we'll uh we'll do some more thinking some more researching uh i might grab the disc at some point once this stuff dries out a little bit and see what happens with that that might be the next step where i might find out something else but anyway thanks for stopping by i appreciate it and we will talk to you soon